So what is growth hormone? Growth hormone, GH, also called as somatotropin or human growth hormone, it's a peptide hormone that stimulates the growth of essentially all tissues of the body, including bones. So it is an anabolic peptide, means it is responsible for the biosynthesis of other more complex molecules inside the human body. But how does it act? In fact, growth hormone is a classical example of biohacking. Its main function is redistribution of energy and nutrients in the body between different organs and tissues. It acts through the specific cellular receptors and producing a stimulatory effect on tissues, predominantly bones, cartilage, and muscles. Retains nutrients such as amino acids, nitrogen inside the muscle cells, bones, and cartilage. Growth hormone promotes elevation in plasma levels of glucose and free fatty acids and a shift in fuel selection with less carbohydrate, less by 69%, and leucine, less by 43% oxidation, and 29% more fat oxidation. Muscle mitochondrial ATP production rate and citrate synthetase activity are increased by from 16 to 35% in response to GH. GH also results in higher abundance of muscle mRNAs encoding mitochondrial proteins, the cytochrome C, from the nuclear and mitochondrial genomes. In total, GH increases body, whole body protein synthesis, while in the same time increasing the utilization of fat as a source of energy. Let me rephrase and repeat it again. Under the influence of growth hormone, cells enter an anabolic protein state with increased amino acid uptake increased protein synthesis and decreased catabolism or destruction of proteins. Fats are processed and consumed by stimulating triglyceride breakdown and oxidation in adipocytes. And this is a direct mechanism of action of GH. There is one more physiological pathway through which growth hormone is realizing its effects. It's called the indirect mechanism of action. In the indirect pathway, growth hormone activates the so-called genus kinase signal transducer and activator of transcription. The JAK2 STAT signaling pathway in short. This Jack family of kinases is involved in diverse physiological actions such as hematopoiesis, immunity, development, and growth. Jack 2 stat activation leads to production of insulin-like growth factors, including the IGF-1, and their release into the circulation. Insulin-like growth factor 1 then has an impact on growth and metabolism of peripheral tissues, leading to increased metabolism and anabolism and cellular replication and division. IGF-1 is also inhibiting apoptosis of the cells, thus prolonging the lifespan of existing living cells.